Hi everyone, let's do a new love reading. Whatever the cards want to say about it, let's tap into the energy and see what we can get. On Sunday, I put up a reading on new love and the energy I was picking up is that there's someone coming into your life that's very wealthy, but they might be a little bit on edge because they've dealt with a lot of gold digger types in the past. They've dealt with people that just kind of use them for their money and they, they really got their heart broken. So if you resonate with this reading, I would check that reading out too. Because this is probably that going to be that same energy group. We're just going to do a continuation of that and look deeper into the energy and see what we can find out about this person. Now, it's not going to be for everybody. Um, like I've said, I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so only take this if it resonates. Tell me about this new love. What do we need to know? Three of Swords. Judgment. Nine of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. So right off, off the bat, what I'm getting from this person is they have a lot of integrity. Oh, before I forget, I want to say, okay, so the other day I was thinking about doing a new love reading. I was like, I know that I need to, I, I've been telling you guys I want to do one. I need to do it. So I was kind of tuning into the energy a little bit. And when I was thinking about doing it, I started randomly seeing this scene from the movie Ever After. And those of you that have watched me for a while, you know that I primarily channel. So that's one of the ways my spirit guides connect with me and talk to me. Sometimes it's through, you know, movie scenes or TV series or music. And I kept seeing the scene from Ever After, um, I don't know if you guys ever saw that movie. It's with it was in the '90s. It's a Drew Barrymore version of a uh, Cinderella. It's a really good movie. But um, I kept seeing this scene where the the stepsisters were out of the house and Danielle was home and the prince came to get her, and she had to kind of hurry and run out of the house before her stepsisters got home. And I I kept seeing that scene and I I channeled a couple different energies from it. For one, I feel like this person's very respectful. I feel like even if this person's been hurt a lot before, I feel like this person still has a deep admiration and respect for women or for men. Could be a male here. Even if I say female, if you feel like if it's, you know, if you're a male and you're resonating with it, there's no applied gender here. Just take it as it resonates. But anyway, I felt like a very gentle energy from this person. Like after all they've been through, they're still gentle. They're still loving. They're still respectful. The second energy I got was just, you know, the stepsisters being out of the house and her kind of having to rush. I kind of felt like if there are any third parties, either on your end or theirs, they're going to be distracted. It's almost like the divine is going to step in and distract anybody that might try to block this from coming in. So it's like no one's jealous people aren't going to be able to get in the way of this is basically what I'm feeling. So the first energy I'm getting here from the cards is I feel like this person's been heartbroken a lot more than most. Everyone's been heartbroken, but this person's been heartbroken more than most. But I feel like this new person is a romantic deep down. I feel like they made a judgment call like th this person has a very strong soul. They have a very strong sense of self is basically what I'm feeling from this person. This isn't the type of person that's going to go cheat on other people because they've been cheated on. They're not going to go break other people's hearts because they've had their heart broken. You know, this is someone who's very gentle, who's very loving, very empathetic. Um, I feel like they they probably don't wear their heart on their sleeve necessarily. I feel like they're they're cautious, they're careful who they give that energy to. You know, this person's intelligent. They know how cruel the world can be. So I don't, I don't get the energy at all that this person's naive. I just get this, per the energy of this person being wise and empathetic. And I feel like when they've had their heart broken in the past, they just have this strong sense of self and this strong integrity. So it's like, even if someone's hurt them in the past, they don't let it block them from love. Like they might get down for a while. Like they, they, they are a romantic deep down. That is what I'm feeling. But they might get in their head about it for a while, but they're not the type that's going to go seek revenge and, and try to do unto others what's been done to them. I feel like if this person does go through phases where they lose themselves a little bit, they always come back to themselves. 
that's what I was getting with that, that strong core, that strong sense of self. It's a very old soul. This person, this new love that's coming in is a very old soul, a very wise person. They might even have spiritual gifts. We'll see if any, uh, like the high priestess or anything comes out here. But yeah, I feel like they always end up making a judgment call. Like when they do get their heart broken, they, they make that judgment call that, you know, if I want to have my wish fulfillment, I still have to work with people. I can't just be a loner. I can't just, I can't shut people out. It's, it's like somebody that they make the conscious decision. It's a really beautiful energy because they make a conscious decision to love. They make a conscious decision that no matter what they've been through, they're going to be true to themselves. They're not going to let it make them, you know, completely bitter and, and, you know, hate the, you know, hate men or women or whoever they're, they're not, they know who they are is what I'm feeling from this person. They stand their ground and they know that they want love. I feel like this person's been alone for a while. They know that they want to manifest someone that they can build something with teamwork, you know, me and you together versus the problem instead of me versus you. They know if they want their wish fulfillment, they have they have to make that judgment call that they're going to keep their heart open. And that's a really beautiful energy that takes a lot of strength because honestly, most people don't do that these days. And like, no offense, but you know, especially a lot of men, honestly. Um, and I know there's a lot of evolved men on my channel. So, you know, there are there are men that are in this energy, don't get me wrong. But I mean, there's also a lot of men out there that it's like, there's a difference between just falling in love with someone and actually making a conscious choice to keep your heart open and to keep believing in love. You know, because a lot of men will meet people and they'll fall in love, but it's almost like they fight it. Like they're bitter about it. They're angry about it. They don't want to fall in love. They don't want to believe in love. It's like they, they fight it. They fight their intuition. They fight their emotions. But this is somebody, even when they're hurt, they still make that conscious choice. They're like, I'm, I'm, I still believe in love. You know, it wasn't with this person. That's okay. I'm going to rebuild myself. I'm going to pick up the pieces. I'm, I'm still going to keep my heart open. I'm just, you know, I'm going to be careful. I'm going to, I'm going to take it slow with people. I'm going to, I'm going to be cautious. I'm going to be grounded but I'm not going to hurt anybody like the way I've been hurt. I'm not going to play games with anybody because of what I've been through. I'm still going to be a good person. I'm still going to be open hearted, even if I'm a little bit more cautious and I take things slower than I would have in the past. I'm, I'm still going to believe in love. So that's the energy I'm getting from this person, this new love of yours. So it's a really beautiful energy. This person's very, very wise, very mature. Tell me more about this person. Four of Pentacles, holding on to something. What are they holding on to? Six of Wands. <clears throat> Knight of Swords. Tell me more about what they're holding on to. The Lovers. I feel like this person cares a lot about their image, but not in a toxic way, not in a, not in like a super egotistical way. I feel like they more, it's like they care about their success and image more in a, in a sense of they, they might be in a leadership position. They might have a lot of people that look up to them. And so they know that they have to really be a good influence on people. It's like they want to leave their mark on the world. They want to bring light into the world. It's like they're making a choice. They, they want to they want to put their best foot forward. They want to be a good influence. And that kind of goes hand in hand with that first spread I was doing where I was just getting that energy of like, no matter how much they've been hurt, they don't want to do other people like that. They don't want to, it's it's not like the, a bitter type of person that wants to hurt others. This is someone where it's like, if they go through a heartbreak, they just, they, they're very experienced. So they're, they have this energy of like, okay, I went through this, so I need to be like, you know, logical and balanced and, and grounded. I need to, especially like if they've been financially used by people, um, that was that energy we were picking up on with that reading I posted on Sunday where it's like, they're not going to play games with you in a toxic way, but they are going to sort of 
test the waters and kind of watch you a little bit and observe you and take it slow with you and, and make sure that you guys are genuinely on the same page because this person is family oriented. So they want somebody that's family oriented as well. They don't want somebody who's primarily a uh, career or money oriented. They want someone who's going to match that emotional depth that they have. Tell me more about what they're holding on to. I feel like people report back to them, like they're in some kind of leadership role where people report, like people bring them information is what I'm seeing here. Because I feel like they have a lot of influence either at work or in their community. They have a lot of influence because it's like they have to make these decisions. It's like someone comes towards them and like they're expected to be in a leadership role. They're expected to be in a position of power. Um... Oh, I see what it's saying here. Okay. So it's like they're expected to be in a position of, of power, of leadership. And so it's like they have to make choices that not only influence them, but influence the, the people in this environment that they're in too. So they really have kind of a lot on their plate where they have to be really mindful of the choices that they make. And they try to be a very, um, I'm getting like an emperor energy here, emperor or empress energy. It's like this person tries to be fair. They try to be balanced. They try to be grounded. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this person has all this grounding energy I'm feeling. I wouldn't be surprised if this person has a lot of earth in their chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But what I see them holding on to is, is yeah, I think that's what I was getting with, with them holding on to their image. It's, it's like... It's like they have to be a good influence. They have to make the right decisions. They can't... Um, they are emotional and they are romantic deep down, but I, I think that they're very, um, they're very gentle, but they, they don't, I don't think they come off harsh or mean necessarily, but I think they come off maybe more neutral to some people or they come off more like maybe more mysterious or hard to read to certain people, at least in this context. I don't know if they'll come off the, with, that way with you necessarily, but like in this, this work environment or this leadership role, whatever this is that they're in. Um, that's what I'm seeing for somebody I'm seeing working with the homeless somehow they're doing something like they might be running some kind of organization that helps the homeless is what I'm feeling because um, yeah a lot of people look up to them they're they're definitely like a leader type is what I'm feeling very powerful but very humble it's a really good energy here that I'm getting from this person. But yeah, it's like even they're, they're, though they're like a romantic and emotional type deep down, I feel like they have to be careful not to show that too much because they they have to kind of prioritize the good of, of the, what is it, like the good of the many versus the good of the few or something like that, whatever that quote is. Um, you know, since they have people looking up to them and coming to them and asking them for advice and they're in this leadership role. It, it's like they can't really let themselves be too emotional in this role or too um, too biased in this role. They have to really be able to kind of ground themselves and be neutral and hear everybody out and make fair decisions that are going to benefit everybody. Okay, let's get one more spread for this person's personality and then we'll see more about the, the relationship with you guys. Could be some, well, let's see. The Hierophant, the Eight of Cups, the Two of Pentacles. I feel like this person's getting more in touch with their free spirited side. I feel like they're, they're, um, because like the Hierophant can be like traditions and like social organizations. They might even be considering leaving some kind of business behind to start their own business for some. For others, I'm just getting that like they are old fashioned in a lot of ways. But they're also kind of walking away from that mentality and juggling it with this. Um, what are they juggling it with? Show me. Two of Wands, long-term views. Ace of Wands, passion. Passion, fun, celebration. Empress energy. Empress energy is also um, very like motherly, but it's also very sensual. It's passionate. It's the Empress is is all about self care. It's about like you know just exploring and and going out in nature because uh, you know the Empress being the mother of the deck, it can also be about mother nature. Um, but what I'm seeing here is, 
I feel like it's almost been like all work and no play for this person. Like I feel like whatever leadership position they're in, they're trying to do the right thing. They're trying to do right by everybody. But I feel like, I don't feel like they're fully walking away from it, but I feel like they're trying to seek a balance in their life. I feel like this person, and we're going to get into the, you know, we're getting into their personality, then we're going to get into more of the connection between you guys in just a minute here. But what I'm feeling here is it's like, they're kind of traditional in a lot of ways, but it's it's like they're walking, they're still traditional, they're still doing the right thing, but it's it's kind of like they're juggling where they're like, they're keeping that mentality to an extent, but they're opening their mind up. They're opening up to new perspectives because I feel like this person really wants to get back in touch with their free spirited side. And I feel like this person wants to go out and have fun. Like this person wants to go out and have a couple drinks or go for a nature walk or um, go like, like they just want to go somewhere. Like I'm getting a I don't know if they drink. Maybe maybe it's not drinking for some. Maybe it's just like they just want to they want to have fun in their life again. They want to pursue their hobbies again. They want they want to do some things that are just kind of for them. So we have like the 2 of want uh the 2 of wands is like long-term planning. So the 2 of 2 of pentacles is juggling. Could be juggling different things. 2 of wands is like long-term planning. So right now I think they're kind of in this introspective energy where they're they're thinking about their life they're like okay I, I am the hierophant I am in this position of power I am a traditional person in a lot of ways um, I do have people looking up to me I do have a lot of responsibilities on my on my plate you know this could be like a CEO or a manager or a boss or just someone that people go to for advice could be just somebody that's like mentally wise if they're not in like a leadership position maybe they're just kind of a wise person so people their friends and family often ask them for advice because they have that life experience because they know a lot and they're a very grounded very stable person but I feel like this person is they're not like walking away from that fully but they're walking they're they're juggling here they're like okay but you know long term I want it's like how do they're, like they're asking themselves these questions like how do I get my passion back? How do I get my how do I get back in touch with that free spirited energy? How do I do things that are fun for me? How do I how do I practice self care when I have so many people that are relying on me and and needing my energy and needing my advice all the time? Like how do I practice self care? How do I go out and have fun? How do I how do I live my life? You know, I don't want to let life pass me by, but I, I want to be a good influence on people. I want to be in this leadership role and help people. But how do I, how do I, you know, have my own passion and my own happiness here too? And my own, you know, three of cups is like a social card. It's like this person might, um, you know, maybe, maybe they, they don't have much of a social life these days or they do, but it's like in a, in a leadership position and they're wanting to, it's like they're wanting to explore different aspects of the world and also of themselves. Any final messages about this person's personality? And then we're going to get into the relationship. Nine of Wands, the wounded warrior. And that's what's hidden. That this person, this person's probably not going to come off that way. This person's, you're probably, you know, the eyes are the window to the soul. And I'm, I'm thinking for most of you, this person's going to have very deep eyes. Their eyes, I think, are going to really resonate with you. Like when you talk to this person, whether they're brown or blue or whatever, it's like you're you're just gonna feel. Um... Have you ever have you guys ever like looked at pictures of? Um... I know this is random, but have you ever like looked at pictures of like serial killers like Dahmer and like all those serial killers? Look at their eyes. Like honestly, like if you Google like pictures of serial killers, like look at their eyes. It doesn't matter if they're blue. It doesn't matter what color they are. You'll notice that they all have dark eyes, and. You know, and some, you know, people can have dark eyes when they're depressed or when they're dealing with entity attachments. So it's not always like the sign that someone's evil. If they have dark eyes, you have to kind of do, you know, as a psychic, I'm able to like dig into that more and kind of look at someone's eyes and, and you know, find out more information. So dark eyes can be a sign of multiple things, you know, including depression. But, but, you know, the, like the people that just really, you know, sometimes with like people like Dahmer, it's like, you can just really see that there's like no light in their eyes and you can tell it's not the energy, you can tell it's not just depression. Like you can see there's like an evil in their eyes. You know what I mean? There's that that dark energy. Um, this person's eyes are going to stand out where I, I feel like 
not for for most of you, I feel. I feel like this person's eyes, there's going to be like a light. There's going to be like a depth to this person's eyes. You know, have you ever like talked to someone and like you look in their eyes and there's just like there's nobody home, like there's nothing there. You're not going to feel that with this person. You're going to look in their eyes and you're going to be really drawn to their eyes I feel like there's going to be just that like like some kind of energy that you just feel from from looking in their eyes is what I'm getting so that's going to stand out to you what's hidden about them though is yeah they're they're a wounded warrior the nine of wands is like someone who's been through so many battles and they almost can't take it anymore they're almost at the ten of wands where they just they can't handle it anymore I feel like this person's also been through a lot of battles when it's come to love like they've had a lot of, you know, vultures, gold digger types, just people that, you know, people that want to drain their energy, people that want to, people that just want to take from them, people that just want something from them. And also very just kind of shallow connections, just people that maybe want them for their image, their money, their status, uh, just very superficial connections. And I feel like they're looking for for fun and passion and emotional depth and connection. They're looking for more than what they have in their current environment. They're very uh they're very lonely in their current environment. But I feel like this is probably someone who's not going to show that. Again, they're in a leadership position, so they they can't show their they they feel like they can't show their emotions too much. And I guess it depends on what position you're in. Like if you're a CEO, I guess you kind of have to take yourself out of the equation sometimes. Um you know, depending on the role that they're in, like a CEO or a manager or a boss or just, you know, a general leadership position. But, and I mean, I personally think it's good to be emotional. Like I think that is, you know, but, but again, that's like, I guess that's the context. There's some situations where I know you, you need not to be, but um, anyway, yeah, that's what's going to be hidden is that they are a wounded warrior. They've been through a lot, especially in relationships they come off as very strong and they are very strong. I mean, they're not, they're not faking it necessarily. They are very strong, but I feel like they have a lot more emotional depth than people realize. I think a lot of people don't, it's like people don't really do any digging when it comes to this person. It's like this person has that emotional depth, but I feel like, again, the people around them are kind of just, it, it, it's like, I feel like they're mostly around people where it's kind of career oriented. Or where they're just having to be like the advisor. I think especially that happens to a lot of strong people too. Is that they're, they they end up being like they end up showing their strong side. And then people kind of just expect that. You know what I mean? Like no one, no one ever, the, the vibe I get from this is like no one ever really asks the strong person how they're doing. Nobody asks the strong person if they're okay. People just assume they can handle it. Even if the strong person's going through a breakup or something hard. People just assume like they're strong. They're, they've been through a lot. They got this. So it's like people like friends and family, I feel like they come to this person a lot and they vent and they ask for advice and they never consider that maybe this person needs advice. Maybe this person needs a shoulder to cry on. Maybe they need support. You know what I mean? It's like this person is like the support system for so many people, but they're not getting that support themselves, you know, because people just assume that they don't need it. They they assume that they're, it's like people look up to them and they see them in this leadership role, in this position of power. And they're like, surely someone in that kind of position already has everything they need. They don't, they don't need my advice. Like, you know, cause this person has confidence. So it's like, they, they don't, they don't recognize that. Um, it's like, yeah, like nine of wands is like the wounded warrior. It's like somebody that's so close to like that 10 of wands where they just can't handle it anymore. You know, where they just, they're tired. You know what I mean? Um, they're tired of always being that that position, that same old, same old. So this person's really considering like, how do I bring fun into my life? How do I do things that are just for me? How do I, um, you know, like they're seeking that energy out right now is what I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, I think that that's, that's what's going to be hidden. Like I said, they might be kind of, they might come off neutral. They might come off as, you know, somebody who's strong and logical and has it together, but you're going to see that emotional depth when you look in their eyes. You're going to feel that hint of maybe even a little hint of sadness, not like a, not like a huge energy of sadness, but just a little, a little hint of, of sadness, a little, a, a deep loneliness, um, but they've, they've learned to manage. They've learned to, they know how to balance it. They don't, 
you know, they, they're not, they're not like losing themselves to that energy, but I think you'll, you'll sense a, a hint of that, you know, that that's what's hidden is that they have this, this deeper emotional side, this deeper romantic side, this, this deeper, um, empathetic side, this, uh, this wounded warrior side where they have been through a lot and they, they need to be nurtured too, the way that they've nurtured others. Any final words about this person's personality? I get a very, um, yeah, stable. I feel like they have general generational wealth. Like I feel like they, I feel like they have a really kind heart. Six of cups can be like, you know, children, innocence. I feel like this person is really, um, they really want to see the best in people. Like I feel like this is a really good person. I feel like they have like inheritance or generational wealth. They have a lot of financial stability is what I'm getting for sure. Yeah, I think they used to be more like innocent and kind of maybe in the past they were more trusting, more naive and people kind of took advantage and showed them that, you know, they have to be more careful. And again, I don't think they let it make them like super bitter or anything. They just kind of, you know, they still have a big heart, but again, they just kind of protect themselves and they, they take it more slow with people and they're more neutral and kind of grounded a little bit. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles is very loyal and stable, but they take a while. They're, they, they don't They don't move too quickly justice because they want justice yeah they want justice they want to make sure that they they don't want to be used again they don't want to be heartbroken again they want to be safe this person's passionate too oh i'm getting a sexy energy from this i'm getting like a like they they take control in bed honestly is what i'm feeling from this with this king of wands knight of wands the fool Pool is a new start, but I'm just getting, I'm just getting like a sexual energy too, where, why the nine of swords? I feel like this is like a genuine alpha, honestly, this, this is like genuine alpha energy because it's like this person is kind and they're gentle and they're loving, but they're also able to be in a leadership position. They're also assertive. They're able to put their own needs aside when they need to and focus on the good of the collective. This person is very mentally strong, very wise, very intelligent, very mature. Page of Swords, the High Priestess. I feel like this person's intuitive too. I feel like this person, because Page of Swords can be like messages, it can be communication, and I almost feel like, what is this about? Let me see here. Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, personality wise, I feel like I feel like their intuition is strong. Like if you play this person, they're gonna know. Like this person has learned to use their intuition. So that's what that's what I was getting in that reading Sunday where I'm like, they're very quick to like be on guard for gold digger types. Like gold diggers, because it's like I feel like I feel like their spirit guides communicate with them, especially with the high priestess. Like I feel like they are intuitive. I feel like it gives them anxiety, it upsets them, but I feel like they are it's like they have some kind of um they have some kind of connection with their spirit guides like i don't some of them might even do like tarot or something some of them might actually be psychics themselves but it's like are they just have like a like an intuition i feel like maybe this person studies psychology as well like they just kind of know how to read people tell me more about this person why the devil Why the devil and the eight of swords? Ten. 
Temperance, Wheel of Fortune. Let's see. I feel like for some of you, we're going to be guided not to... Um, Not to get caught up in devil energy and, and project past relationship wounds onto this because you're not going to be used to this. You're not, you might have had good men in the past. Don't get me wrong. Good men or good women. Like you might have had good people in the past. You might have had people that spoiled you, but this is going to be like, this is like an alpha. This is like an alpha male or an alpha female. This is like a whole other caliber, caliber of person. This is like, this is, this is different. This is going to be. You're going to be like, what the hell is this? Like, what, who is this person? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to be used to it. So it's kind of like, don't shut this out just because you're not used to it. You know what I mean? Like, if this person isn't your usual type, like, don't, I feel like there will be the attraction there. I do feel like there will be the attraction there. Um, but I'm saying, like, if it feels too good to be true, don't, like, like, be cautious, of course. And you have to watch out, especially if you're, um, especially if you're like manifesting new, new love. Sometimes when you put that energy out in the universe, you're like, I'm open to new love. I'm, I'm opening myself. Sometimes it like, it, it's like an energetic signal where you might get like the leech types that like, you know, like they see that you're open to love and they might come forward and shoot their shot. So yeah, you do have to be careful and use discernment so that you know if you've actually found this person or if you've just found an imposter who's just wanting to drain your energy. But you're going to know. You're going to know the energy difference because, again, using your intuition, looking in this person's eyes, and Knight of Cups, the right person is going to pursue you. Someone that's really into you and someone that's a real man or a real woman is going to pursue you. They're not going to. They're not going to play games. They're not going to... Because I'm not, from this person's energy, I'm not getting that they're, this isn't somebody who's given up on love. They might be a little bit jaded, a little bit, they take things slow, I feel, for some, but they are romantic and they are emotional and they're not going to be playing games. You know what I mean? It's like everybody's been hurt, but this is one of those people that's just brave and, and real and authentic enough to be like, you know what, no matter how much I've been hurt, I know that I want true love. I know that I want a family. I know that I want my Ten of Cups, my Ten of Pentacles, like I want that connection. Um, I'm going to find it. I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to be careful, you know, because I've been through so much. I'm going to be cautious. I'm not going to give too much of myself too early on. I'm going to test the waters and take it slow. But I feel like they're still going to be pursuing you, though. That's the difference. You know what I mean? Like even if they're taking it slow, they're still going to be messaging you and asking how your day is and asking, you know, do you want to go get coffee? Do you want to go to dinner? Do you want to... Um, for someone, they're going to help you with something. They're going to help you with like an art project or like if you're in school, they're going to help you study something. Like I'm getting like a, like some like math or accounting or something. Like there's something that you're studying that's kind of difficult and they feel like they are very knowledgeable about it and they're going to help you study that. I feel like they might even use that as an in. They're like, oh, I can help her. Like they might use that as like a way to get in with you. They're like, oh, like she, you know, he or she needs that. I'm going to, I, 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 I'm, you know, it's kind of a cute energy where I'm, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, an expert in that area. I can help you with that. They might use that as like a little bit of an in, you know, like a, an excuse to talk to you. Like, oh, hey, did you submit that project to school? Or, hey, how's that art project coming? Like they're going to use it as like a conversation starter and a way to kind of impress you and show you that they can, uh, you know, offer something that they can, they can um, be useful in your life. You know what I mean? It's a very cute energy I get from this person. It's very sweet. But, um, but yeah, I do feel like even if they're moving slow, I feel like they will still be pursuing you. They will still be messaging you. They will still be, uh, you know, wanting to go get coffee, wanting to, you know, they're very intellectual, so they're going to want to have, like, these intellectual kind of conversations with you. They're going to really uh, read your body language and um, really want to get to know you is what I'm feeling. It's a really beautiful energy I get from this person. It's a really attractive energy I get from this person. Like, this is, ooh, this is like, this is like daddy or mommy energy right here. I'm not going to lie. This is like, this is a sexy energy. Um, yeah, it's it's a really good energy. But you're just being warned, I think, not to not to um not to sabotage this because it's unfamiliar. 
And also, again, not to let people, don't let anybody come in and like any imposter types and pretend to be this when they're not. Because that that energy you're putting out, there might be like little, little F, you know, fuck boys, fuck girl types that like see that energy, see your open heart and try to latch on. But you're going to, I think you're going to feel it. You're going to feel something is off like with body language or they're like, they're not, they're not going to resonate or there's going to be something there where you're going to be like, mm, I don't know about this. But, um. But yeah, there's that warning to just be careful and make sure you're using your intuition to to find this genuine person, find the, the person we're channeling here um, and not any fakes, not any any little leech types. Um, the second warning again is don't sabotage this just because you're not used to this. If you're not used to being taken care of, you know, get get used to it. Open yourself up to it. Open yourself up to something new because this person's probably not going to be like what you're, what you've dealt with before. And some of you might even be like, like what's the catch like does this person want my pants like why are they taking me to why are they taking me to dinner all the time why are they so concerned about why are they supporting me like this why are they so concerned about me doing well in school like what do they what do they want you know what I mean like some of you might be kind of on guard um if you've been hurt a lot in past relationships it's just saying don't bring that trauma into this I mean and everybody has baggage there's no you know, that's, that's part of a relationship. You're going to discuss those things, but I think it's, it's, there's a difference between like having open, honest con conversations with someone and being like, you know, I've been through this and this and this I've been, you know, I am dealing with the heartbreak. I am trying to process a heartbreak. I'm, you know, being honest about where you're at, being honest about how you feel, um, and discussing like what you want and don't want in a relationship when, when the time comes, of course, and just what you've been through. Those are normal conversations to have, but it's just kind of saying like, don't, there's a difference between having those open, honest con conversations and like projecting what someone else put you through onto this person. Like, oh, this person that I was really in love with cheated on me recently. And I, I bet this person is just going to cheat too. You know what I mean? It's like, don't, don't project. Make sure you can separate these two relationships here. Um... I'm actually going to do another video. I don't know if I'm going to post it at the same time as this, but I mean, there's a lot of information that came through. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do another video either, you know, it'll probably be posted today or tomorrow, like within the next, you know, day or two, um, on new love. Like we're going to get deeper into it, deeper into the connection. This, this one just, you know, the personality aspects kind of, it ended up being long. So I want to, I want to separate these videos just a little bit. Seven of Cups, the star, death. This person, this person transformed this, themselves. This person's very strong. This person's like, they might have gone through a lot on their own. What is the Seven of Cups that they had to heal from? They had to heal from something. Uh, and they had to go through some kind of transformation here with the death card. What is the Seven of Cups? What did they have? To, what did they have to heal from? I'm surprised we didn't get the emperor here. And this is like emperor in empress energy. This is like, ooh. Oh. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> See how they're like they're looking at each other. They're side-eyeing each other a little bit. <laughs> Hmm. Building something, waiting for this this to to grow to blossom. This per <laughs> this person is gonna <laughs> this person is gonna have a strong sexual attraction to you. The Queen of Wands is like magnetic, charismatic, attractive. You know, vibrant. I see him like side eyeing her and she's kind of she's kind of side eyeing him a little bit too but she's pretending not to see him as much. Um And this with this energy I'm actually getting it's like he's going to want to like he's going to he's going to want to jump in bed with you but he's going to stop himself because he's going to want to have respect for you. And I think you're going to stop him too, which is a good thing. You know, make him work for it a little bit. You don't have to I'm not saying make him wait a long long time, but it, but it's it's like I feel like sexually between the two of you guys, it's almost like there's going to be this little bit of a, not like it, not like a tease in a bad way, but almost like a tease in like a, 
Like this Queen of Wands is going to be kind of like teasing with him, but in like a very cute way. In like a very sweet, flirty way. Not not in like a not in a bitchy way, not in a playing games. Like this this emperor doesn't play games. He sees through that. He's very intelligent. If you try any of that with him, like you try any of the, oh, I'm gonna go all day without texting you and, you know, make you jealous, he's he's not gonna do it. But I don't feel like she's gonna play those kind of games. I feel like it's more like she's gonna be you know, wear like a cute, cute little like dress in front of him and be kind of flirty and dance in front of him if they go out. But, you know, he's not coming in to stay the night, that kind of energy. You know what I mean? Like she's going to, she's going to make him work for it. She's going to tease him a little bit, but, but yeah, in a very sweet, very playful way, um, he's going to be all about it. He's going to, he's going to have a very strong sexual attraction to this queen of wands. He's going to want, he's not going to want to wait for it, but he's going to, again, he's going to have to. He's going to hold himself back out of respect for her, I feel like. Um, and she's also going to um, demonstrate that, that, you know, kind of restraint. It's going to be kind of like a fun energy. That sexual tension is going to be really building up is what I'm feeling. But there's when you guys do start, ooh, that, there's a lot of sexual chemistry and passion there for sure. Yeah, make him work for it because he's going to work for it is what I'm feeling. It's going to be a good, it's it's a good energy. Um, I think that was like a side note. Tell me more about, tell me what this is here with the, the um, and if this is resonating with you, please subscribe. I really appreciate it because um, I'm going to be doing more of these. I'm going to be doing, I do old love readings. I do new love readings. I do third parties. I do, um, might start doing some financial readings here and there. I do a little bit of everything on this channel. Sometimes we get some warnings. Um, and especially if you're like subscribed, if you're, if you're, you know, engaging, if you're in this energy, like, uh, sometimes I do get messages for people that are, you know, like dreams and, and, you know, specific, specific messages for people on here once in a while too. So I, I really appreciate you guys subscribing if this resonates and please like the video and just comment, even leaving just a heart comment really, you know, helps me get back in the algorithm. But, um, yeah, let's see here. And even sharing the video too, if it resonates, you know, thank you guys for that. So, so yeah, what is with the seven of cups and the star and the death? What is it? What did he have to transform here? There was some kind of transformation, something he had to heal. What was it? And it could be talking about his sexual energy too, where it's like he, this isn't a boy. This is, this is a man. So he knows he, he's not going to try to, he's not just looking to get some, you know what I mean? That Like, that's the kind of energy, like. And he's going to take his time in bed. He's not going to, this isn't like a hit it and quit it kind of energy. This is like somebody who's going to, who's going to work for it. They're going to take their time. They're going to, I think this person is very dominant in bed. The hangs man, the two of swords. Okay. What is this energy? They really did a lot of healing work on themselves. I feel like this person is very introspective. The hanged man and the two of swords, it's like they had to really go inward. Um, because they, they like they felt blocked. They felt blocked from this new perspective, but at some point I think they kind of it's kind of saying like I feel like this if this person did have like an immature side, it was like a long time ago where they went through it. You know what I mean? Like they they probably got it all out of their system early on. You know what I mean? Like they probably went through a lot early on. So it's like they don't um like they learned, they learned a lot of their karmic lessons. They don't, this, this person's an old soul. They don't really have, they have some karmic lessons to learn. Like everybody does, but I feel like most of the really hard karmic lessons that they had in their life, they already learned and they went in this meditative state. Tell me more about this four of cups. Why the four of cups? What is this trying to tell me? Son of cups is about like illusion. It could be choices. Yeah, they reject anybody that doesn't, that plays games with them. They reject, they don't, how do I explain this? They're, they, they're humble, but they also are confident. Like they know what they deserve, you know? What's the burden that they let go of? Tower. 
Yeah, because they learned all these harsh karmic lessons before and they rebuilt themselves. It's like somebody who broke down, especially early on. This person might have even had, not for all of you, but for some of you, I get like, you know, again, only for a percentage of you, but for some, I'm seeing that when they were like a teenager, they had problems with like the law. Like they had like, like fighting, drugs, alcohol, like they went through it all at a young age, like, you know, teenage years, like 20s. Um, like they really kind of got it out of their, their system and really learned. They learned fast. They, they Their soul had to evolve quickly. They had to grow up quickly. Page of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I just feel like this is somebody who like has like they're not in that state of illusion anymore because it's like they've they rebuilt themselves. They healed themselves. They took it upon themselves to transform their life, to do the healing work. They're the very independent person. Tell me a little bit more about this person just really quick before we wrap it up. And again, I'll be doing more new love readings uh, within the next couple days. So tune in for those as well. King of Swords. Ace of Swords. Five of Cups. Yeah, it's just kind of reiterating what we said. It's like King of Swords. Like they had to learn to, they had to learn to balance. They had to learn to, they were more of a King of Cups type and they had to learn to become a King of Swords and kind of balance those, those two energies out, balance logic and emotion, be able to be neutral, um, be able to, they have this like composure, you know what I mean? It's like uh, Ace of Swords, like truth, clarity, letting things go that don't serve them and, and waiting for their ships to sail. And it's like they, they turned themselves into a king of pentacles, into a, a stable man, into somebody that's... It, they worked very hard to become the person that they are is basically what I'm feeling from this. So this is a sexy energy. This is... Ooh, this is a, this is a damn sexy energy. I'm going to put this out there. I hope this resonates with you guys. Again, please comment, like, share, subscribe if it does. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. I love hearing your stories too. I'm also curious, like how many of you have met this person already? Have any of you guys actually, because I feel like for most of you, it's like you feel them, but you haven't met them yet. But have any of you actually met this person yet? Like recently? Because I feel like this is coming in soon. But um, yeah, let me know where you guys are at. Like just, you know, I like I said, I love hearing from you guys. So thanks for watching.